everybody, this is Quid Pro Bono, and I have got a great treat for you today. Uh, what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to make an Oculus Rift headset in your own home. Uh, it's really easy, actually, and what we're going to do here is just, I'm going to show you how to gather these materials, and then you're just going to put them together, get an Oculus Rift, and you won't have to buy one off eBay. You know, they have the dev kits that are up for like five, six hundred bucks right now. You're not going to have to uh, wait for the release. You'll be able to just make one, use it, and be all set. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by gathering uh, the basic tools. Just like, you need cutting implement. You're going to need an adhesive device. Um, you're going to need what you're going to mount it on. Now, they have like the fancy strap that goes around your head and over the top as well. And that connects to the main unit on the front. I don't really have anything like that, and I don't want to go through the trouble, so I'm just going to use an actually just a hat, simple hat. So, what we're going to do is uh, take our main LED panel, and there are two plastic side panels here. And we are just going to uh, first fix the, uh, the screens to the main panel. So you, you have two screens on it. Right now they're doing 720p. You can use 1080 if you'd like, if you have access to those. And you're just going to set those side by side on the actual front panel. Like that. Now, this, uh, this is going to be displaying the same thing, same image, and then they actually cross to create the virtual reality effect. So, you're going to want to make sure that you program them to share the same image on both screens to have this work effectively. Now, um, on the back here, you've got the, just really the logo. It just says Oculus, pretty much. It's fairly simple. You're going to go ahead and take your adhesive device here and apply just a bit of it to the top of your main panel where the logo is. So you want the logo on the outside with your adhesive and then you'll attach that right onto the front of your unit. There we go. Now your side panels, these are mostly to block out the, uh, the light and distracting things so that you can really focus on the main panel and get absorbed into the virtual reality. Now these side panels, you might want to fix your adhesive on both first. There we go and then just lift up your main unit and affix them on the sides here so that it really blocks that light out and makes sure that that you're not going to get any any weird interference or anything. And after that all you're going to need to do is just place the unit on your head and there you go. As you can see I am uh, in a virtual world right now. Um, now the Oculus guys really don't want this to get out there, so make sure that if you see this video, you kind of keep it on the down low for me. Um, obviously, I can't release my real name because I don't want to uh, to receive a cease and desist or anything. I want to be able to keep giving you guys these great instructional videos. So, you know, look forward to the next one where I'm going to show you guys how to use uh, or how to make a Google Glass at home. <laughs> And yeah, again, it's really just that easy. Uh, you know, Google Glass is a great product, and the homebrew version is even better. So I hope that this instructional video really helped you guys.